how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel in this video i will be doing a full ui comparison between these three beautiful devices i have got the galaxy s22 ultra which is running the latest one ui 4.1 based on android 12 then i've got the xiaomi 12 pro which comes with miui 13 and finally i have also got the oneplus 9 pro that is running on oxygen os 12.1 based on android 12. guys it's gonna be a very interesting comparison I have got all the popular Android skins, so let's find out which UI offers better Android experience. With that being said, if you really love watching these kind of videos and want to support my work, then don't forget to smash that like button and let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, first let's talk about the always on display. Unlike iPhones, these devices comes with an always on display and in addition to this, all three offer some extra customizations. When it comes to MIUI, you get different clock styles, you can set custom image, add different effects to your always on display and even you can change the background as well. In OnePlus phones, I really like this inside feature that shows you how many times have you unlocked your phone. Other than this, you also get a wide range of different clock styles that you can set on your always on display and I actually like this combination of red and white that you get in Oxygen OS. It looks really nice. Finally, if you talk about Samsung One UI, not only it offers a lot of customizations like changing the clock style and you can add different stickers and GIFs, but it even lets you to control the brightness of your always on display. This is a very unique feature and I am sure you are not going to find it in any other Android device. If I go into the lock screen, OnePlus doesn't provide you with many options. You only get this clock widget and below you get shortcuts to camera and Google Assistant. In MIUI 13, it only lets you to change the clock format. But other than that, everything looks similar to what we have in OnePlus. Now One UI offers a lot more features even in the lock screen. You can add some really useful widgets in the lock screen, which is definitely one of my favorite feature because I don't have to unlock my phone, I can see some very useful information directly from a lock screen itself. Then it allows you to change the app shortcuts. You can add two of your favorite applications instead of having the default shortcuts. You can also customize and change the clock style as well. The only thing that is missing in One UI is the lack of fingerprint animations. I really like how MIUI and Oxygen OS gives you a bunch of different animations just to customize and change the look of your fingerprint. But when it comes to Samsung, you only get this boring animation which doesn't look nice and there is no way you can change this default animation in Galaxy devices. Overall, when it comes to always on display and lock screen, I would still prefer One UI because it offers a lot more features and customizations. Next, let's talk about the home screen. With Android 12, Samsung has beautifully adapted to dynamic theming, which means whenever you change and apply a brand new wallpaper, everything will change depending on the color of that wallpaper. It changes the accent color, icons color, and even it applies to the stock applications. I think this is by far the best color palette option I have seen in any Android device. Even though the Oxygen OS 12.1 has support for Material U, but it only works on Google widgets and stock applications. If you go to the settings and choose a different color, it only changes the accent color and everything else remains the same. Now finally if I talk about MIUI, they are not even trying to implement the Material U design. It still got the same outdated design where you can only change the home screen grid and size of these icons. Apart from this, if you love applying different third party icon packs on your phone, then only Samsung gives you an option to change and apply different icon packs in the default launcher with the help of Goodlock application. Sadly, if you own a Xiaomi or OnePlus device, you will need to install a third-party launcher just to change the icon pack and customize your home screen. Notification panel and quick setting looks very similar in Oxygen OS and One UI, but MIUI has this control center which is heavily inspired from iOS. I am not a big fan of this iOS style control center and I will always prefer the clean look that we get in Oxygen OS and One UI. Apart from this, if you go into the widget section, I think One UI feels less cluttery. It doesn't show all the widgets in one place. Instead, you just need to select a particular application and it shows all the widgets related to that specific application or settings. Not only this, Samsung added the smart widget in One UI 4.1. It basically lets you combine all your favorite widgets. This saves you a lot of space and keep your home screen neat and clean. Moving on, let's talk about the user interface and the system animations. Guys, when I access my quick settings or when I open my app drawer, I really like the amount of blur that we get in One UI. 
it definitely looks better and makes the whole experience a lot premium. I know even MIUI has this background blur but somehow it doesn't look as good as the One UI 4.1. Next, if I go into the settings, the settings menu in Oxygen OS feels clean and minimal but the MIUI and Samsung One UI has better readability because of these vibrant icons. Even when I open the recent apps menu, One UI has this 3D look which makes the applications pop and it looks much better in terms of visibility. But one thing that I like about OnePlus is you can quickly access all your recent applications with the help of these app icons. It makes the UI feels much faster and snappier. There is nothing new in MIUI. It has a very similar and a basic looking taskbar where you can access all your recent applications. In terms of animations, MIUI and OneUI has some beautiful and smooth animations. Definitely it feels slow when compared to the Oxygen OS but they look very pleasing to your eyes. So it's totally up to you. If you really want a fast looking phone then you can go with OnePlus. But if you like to experience some beautiful animations then you can pick either OneUI or MIUI. Finally let me clear one thing that OneUI 4.1 offers a lot more features which I am unable to cover in this video. It has Bixby routines, Dex support and then we have also got applications like GoodLock which helps you to customize your phone like a pro. Overall, I think Samsung offers a lot of amazing features that are missing in other Android devices. So if you really want to try all these exciting features and at the same time you want a better software support because Samsung provides you with 4 year of software updates, then you can definitely go with Samsung. Guys, if you still want me to rank all these Android skins, then I will keep Samsung in the first place. After that I will go with OnePlus and finally I will pick MIUI in the third place. So that's pretty much it for this video. Do let me know in the comment section which is your favorite Android skin. And if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.